Hello and welcome to the fresh new video of Revit MEP series by BIM Technology. So we are going through the episode 3 over here and we are going to learn about the copy monitor, copy or monitor tool that is very prevalently or very much used in Revit MEP workflow. So in the previous video we have learned how we had a linked an architectural model and then we have understood how to select the object and see the properties of the link model and how to control the visibilities of the uh, different model in the project. Now here we will learn how to use a copy monitor tool. So in Revit, Amy, on the Revit, you have the copy monitor tool as part of the collaborate option. So here in the collaborate tab, you can see that there is a tool which is called copy or monitor. So if you press the drop down here you have the use current project and you have an option called select link. So I'm going to select the link over here and I have this link model here. I click on the link over here and then I have this tab named as copy or monitor. So in this copy or monitor tab I have this tools panel and there is a copy monitor option or the panel over here. So I would first before copying or monitoring the levels I would rather go to options tool over here. In the options tool, I have got four tabs, levels, grids, walls, and floors. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy or monitor the existing levels that we are having in the link model. So here in the left-hand side, you can see there is the original type and the right-hand side here of the new type. So the original type is AEC FFL head project datum and the new type that it's going to inherit from the level that you create would be 8 mm head. Similarly, when while you're copying it, the offset level will be zero. And I want to give a prefix to the new copied level as M, or I would say that it is M E P dash. So the new level that will be copied from the level type AC FFL head project datum would be MAP dash, and the name of the level would be 8 mm head, or whatever the level name that it takes like the, it can be ground floor it can be first floor and whatever it is so if i choose the ok option now revit asked me to copy the levels so i have these three levels that i want to copy for my project so i have this copy option i choose the copy option here and then i have an option of selecting a single object or for a multiple so if i want to copy multiple levels as I have this for the ground floor or the first floor or the roof, I use the multiple option and then I cr create a window over here and then I finish. Now this will enable me to create new levels which is copied from the architecture model and is monitored with it along with it. So it takes a bit of time to finish the copying process and then we will see the new levels that is formed and how we can create different views from it. That's what we are going to learn next after copying it. Now you can see the copy process is finished and the new levels are created as MEP roof, MEP first floor and MEP ground floor, which is overlapping with the zero level. So we will see how we can eradicate it or how we can remove this one. But before going to the levels we should finish the copy monitor option but here we have something called the coordination settings and the batch copy that we will learn in the next video how the batch copy helps in copying the fixtures from the existing fixture that you have in the architectural model and then we have got different settings for the coordination setting like mapping behavior of different fixtures that we have so let's first of all finish the copying option of the levels by finishing it and then here we go so now you have got three levels that is not having any views and there's a zero level. Now if I want to see the levels that are created in my view, I would rather go to the manage tab, go to the manage links and unload the architecture model. That is the link. So unloading it would be temporarily disabling the model from the view. Now here I can see that there is, I have this three levels over here. I can remove the level 0. If I delete it, there will be a message that will be coming. All the views are deleted. That's how it works. Now, I want to create fresh views 
from for the mechanical discipline for MEP ground floor, MEP first floor and MEP roof if I want to have. But I want to have the mechanical first floor and the ground floor plan. So in order to create fresh views, I need to go to the view tab. I do have the plan views here. And then from the floor plan view, I can go click on the floor plan view and make sure that I want to have the template go to the edit type and the template is a mechanical plan and if I uh, clear this checkbox the view that will be created from this particular template will not be dependent on the template so I select all the two levels over here for which I want to create the plan I choose the OK option and here I can see that two different plans in the HVAC floor plan is created MEP first floor and MEP ground floor. Similarly, if I want to create, so I'm renaming this as HVAC plan first and then I can have the another one as HVAC plan or a duct plan. So I don't want to name the level so I say no and I have this HVAC plan HVAC plan second or the crown. Similarly, I can create different uh, electrical plans, ceiling plans and so let's create a ceiling plan and then we will see how the ceiling plan is created. So go to the plan view, go to the reflected ceiling plan and here we go with MEP ground and first and I go to the edit plan and there is no template over here. So I choose a none option and I click on the mechanical ceiling option and choose the apply option and make sure that the checkbox is cleared and then choose the OK option. So I have another ceiling plan, set of ceiling plans for the MEP first floor and ground floor. I can rename this one. Now if I want to create a mechanical plan for plumbing, for electrical, so I would again go to the plan view, go to the floor plans. I want to create a floor plan for lighting. So I would go for do not duplicate over here so I get the ground and first over here so I want to create a power plan let's say electrical plan now this electrical plan will come with a sub discipline of power so I'm going to create a floor plan of ground floor and first floor so it comes under the electrical plan so you have this electrical plan here so you have these two plans so this is the way you create different plans from the existing uh, levels that you had created. Now one thing that is very important to know that how the copy monitor option works. So you have this uh, you have this levels which is if you select this levels these are all monitored. So you can see there's a monitored icon over here you can click on the stop monitoring and now how does it work actually. Now let's say if we go to the architectural model and remember that the architectural model is unloaded here. So here if we open the architectural model let's say if we open the architectural model here so if we go if we select the architectural model which is linked we are opening it separately and if we change the levels over here let's say the value of the level let's say it's a zero the ground floor is zero so if I change it to 300 in the architectural model and now let's see what will be the coordination settings and the coordination review what it says in the structural model in the MEP model. So let's say you have this ground floor at 0, 0 and if I click this ground floor which is the architectural model so I change the elevation to let's say 0.45 that is 450 millis. So if it is changed to 450 millis the entire model will change above and then let's see what is the reaction, what is what happens to the link model and the level that is basically copied from the architectural levels. Now let's save this file over here in order to see that the changes reflect to the architecture model in the MEP project. So I save this and I go to the MEP ground group plan over here and then if I reload the architecture model over here which is opened which we had opened make sure that it is closed so I close this one and then I go to the manage tab I go to the manage link over here 
and then if I want to reload it, let's say the link cannot be reloaded because it is already open. Make sure that your architectural model is closed in your project. So I'm making sure it is closed. So I close this model over here. I close the north elevation and all the project. Let, let, let us make sure that the project is closed, right? And then if you go to the manage link and if you want to reload it, it says that again, there is, a, there is something that needs to be worked out. You have the model not elevation you have to remove this so already there is an architectural model which is opened i want to close this model and uh, that's save it and close it that's fine so here we are into a position where we have created a change in the architectural model and now we are in the map cloud flow plan Go to the manage links here and then let's reload it and see what are the changes so the moment you reload it there will be a message that would be coming that confirming that the coordination has been done so this says instance of the links need to be coordination review so let's see how the review works if let's say there is a change that has been done in order to do the review you need to go to the view and uh, to the manage tab and then you have this uh, in the collaborate tab you have this coordination review select the select link option and then here you have the review so it says that the level is moved by 450 so there are two options are there the level in the ground floor id and in the, in the linked model so what you're going to do is either you can reject it except the difference or move level map ground floor so i'm going to move level map ground floor up and here see okay so this will change and enable the model to coordinate with the if you look into the plan here now then elevation let's go to the elevation you'd see that your ground floor elevation has changed to 450 millis so thank you for watching this long video hope you have understood about what is the coordination settings and how the copy monitor tool works thank you in the next video we will be learning how to create spaces and zones from an architectural model and here we go.